here today with Harrison the Outdoor Guy and today I am going to be doing a um, the result of my tournament and I'm also going to be unboxing or I guess showing you not really unboxing but I'm going to show you a few things a few lures that I got for my birthday so let's get into it so first I'm going to talk about my tournament last weekend so I had a tournament last weekend on uh, a Lake X. I'm gonna say Lake X. Um, you might know what lake it was at if you follow me on Instagram. But I'm not gonna say it on here. But anyway, so we did pretty good. We were fishing frogs and uh, we fished a little, uh, we fished shaky heads in the morning on a road bed and then we went out to grass later in the day. And, so yeah, so we didn't get the weight that we wanted. We were catching some really nice ones, but we didn't get the weight that we wanted. We wanted to get at least 15 pounds, so we wanted to get five three-pounders. So, we went to a stretch of docks, and there was some grass by them. And we were fishing frogs on the top, and the guy that was fishing in my boat, or not in my boat, but the guy that took me fishing that day, he threw his frog, or actually he had on a spook at that time. He threw it out there, and right as he was bringing it back into the boat, this huge four pound spot just hammered it, but it didn't get the hooks in it. So yeah, so, that would have been really good if we could have gotten that one in. And then later in the day, we were fishing a, a little bit of grass and I was throwing a frog. And I had a, about a six pounder blow up on it. But I didn't get the hooks in them. But if we would have had the three fish that we had in our boat, the three three pounders, and the six pounder and the four pounder, we could have almost I mean, we could have won the tournament, so, yeah, but things happen, why well, it's called fishing, not catching, so, yeah, we ended up with 12.09, so 12 pounds, 9 ounces, and I don't know what place we got, but I think we did pretty okay, um, so, yeah, now we are going to be doing the or I'm going to be showing you a few lures that I got. So, yep. So, the first thing that I'm going to start off with is these watermelon red trick worms. Um, they're just regular old trick worms by Zoom. Um, yeah, nothing too special about them. I need some trick worms, so I got them. And this stuff that I'm showing you right now, this is all um, part of my birthday present. Or one of my birthday presents. So, the next thing we have is a Booyah Pad Crasher. And, um, yeah, it's just a little frog. So take it out of the package. I don't know what color it is. It looks like a, um, it just looks like a black on top, it's black on top, and then it has a white belly, noisy truck, but, um, yeah, white underside and black on the top, it's got really long legs, uh, I'll probably trim those down so I can get better hookups. And they're not just eating the tails. So yeah. Next bait that we have is these Reaction Innovations Little Dippers. These are in a nine count and they're in Dirty Sanchez. As you can see there. And take one out just little swim baits I didn't really realize how small they were 
another noisy truck. Oh. But yep, just little swim baits. Uh, these will be really good on ponds or as a uh, swim jig trailer. Next thing, um, I'm actually going to be pulling out two things, but they're the same thing, so. I got these Franklin jigs. Two of them. These are actually what we caught them really well on in the tournament. Uh, we were catching a lot on jigs, but not, not really any size on them. So the big fish that we caught were caught on frogs. Most of them were. And, uh, we were catching a bunch of fish on these jigs, but not really any size. I don't know if you can see the color. Take one out. For the package, uh, 3 8 ounce Franklin jig. There it is. Uh, it looks like a green pumpkin. It's got a little bit of purple, like June bug in there. So, yep. Yeah. Okay. Next, we have some uh, Gamagatsu weighted Superline EWG swim bait hooks. These are two white, uh, two aught, one sixteenth of an ounce size. And these, uh, I got uh, two watts because they're going to go on those little swim baits that I just showed you. Okay. Next thing. Oh, I didn't drop it. The next thing that we have is the um, Booyah. Another Booyah Pad Crasher. But this is the, in the uh, Junior size. So this is the Pad Crasher Junior. And this is kind of in a uh, bullfrog color I would call it. I really needed to get some more frogs. I had to borrow some frogs on, on the tournament day. And I got the junior size because um, this will be a good size for ponds. And um, this is just a really natural frog, small frog imitation bait. Once again, I'll probably trim down the legs so the bass aren't trying to eat the legs. Actually get the hooks. Next, we have some Cajun Boss Outdoors Tungstens. These are a fourth of an ounce. Three pack. Nothing too special about those. Two more things. Then we have like a little three eighths, three eighths ounce spinner bait. Not sure what company this is. Uh, it didn't say. It was just at the store that I went to. It's got a willow leaf and a Colorado blade. But this will also be good in ponds. And the last thing that we have. Sorry guys. I'm uh, seeing my. Uh, I got my phone set up over here so I can see you what um it's i can see what's on the camera so i just had to press something on the phone and the last thing is spike it dip and glow and this is in the garlic scent sartreuse and guys um if you're gonna get this stuff i would recommend putting it in a plastic bag because this stuff if it spills on your boat or on you, you are not going to be happy. This stuff stinks and smells. So make sure you close it good and put it in a Ziploc bag. 
So that's all I have for you guys today. Thank you guys so much for watching. And sorry I haven't been uploading that much. Um, I've been traveling, uh, or not really traveling, but I've been away from home and uh, been with family, so I've uh, not been uploading that much. But thank you guys for tuning in, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.